In this quick tip video, I'll show you how to create a local admin user that doesn't require a Microsoft account. Here I'm signed onto a Windows 11 Pro Edition computer with a Microsoft account that has admin rights. To create a new local user that can sign on without a Microsoft account, but which also has local admin rights, I right click on Start and choose Computer Management. You can only use this console to manage users in the Pro, Enterprise and Education editions of Windows 11. But with some finagling on other editions, you can create local users with PowerShell. If you're interested in me demonstrating that, leave a note in the comments. In the Computer Management console, expand Local Users and Groups and then select the Users container. To create a new user, right click on the Users container and select New User. In the New User dialog, provide a username, which will be the name in the computer, and then the full name, which will be the display name. Provide a password. Here I've changed the User Must Change Password at Next Logon option. Note that unless you select Password Never Expires, you'll be asked to change the password of this user after a few weeks. Clicking Create creates the user. To give this user administrator privileges, right click on the user and choose Properties. On the User's Properties page, select the Member of tab. This lists the user's group memberships. Select Add to add the user to a new group. In the Select Groups dialog, choose Advanced and then choose Find Now. This gives us a list of all of the local groups on this Windows 11 computer. Here we double click on Administrators and then choose OK. We choose Apply and then OK. And our new user is now a member of the local administrators group. Let's test it by demonstrating that we can use this new user to create another new user as that's pretty straightforward proof of admin rights. I click Start My Account and choose Switch User. In the list of users, I can see my new user Prime. I enter the password I just assigned to this account and the logon process occurs. Now that I'm at the desktop, I right click on Start, select Computer Management and create a new user named Magnus. As you can see, I'm able to add Magnus to the local administrators group, which proves that Prime and now Magnus have administrative rights as local users. And that's how you create local users and grant them admin rights on Windows 11. 